Hello everyone, we're going to do day 18, 18 out of two months reading the Gospel of Mark. Hope you're enjoying. We're going to read a little insert story from yesterday. It's a story of a lady being healed by Jesus. It's Mark 5, 25. I love this story. A woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all that she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once, Jesus realized the power had gone out from him. He turned around and said, who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding against you, his disciples answered, and yet you ask, who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and trembling with fear, she told him the whole truth. He said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. I love this story. I think it's beautiful. And it speaks to me that, that we can take hold of Jesus and his promises of healing and freedom. We need to, like the woman, she said, if I just touch him, if I just touch him. And I pray that I'm a believer that touches God. It doesn't mean I have to work to get an answer, but it means I have to activate, activate my faith. And even if she's been praying for 12 years for healing, even if we're disappointed, something hasn't happened, we can pray again with faith today. That's my prayer for me and for you. Let's pray again for the answers to prayer. Lord, I pray that in any area where we haven't been healed or we haven't seen a miracle, I pray you would activate our faith to get today again. We would activate our faith with you, Lord. And we would say we're believing still for our healing, our job, relationship, freedom, we're still believing, Lord. We're going to hold on, believing that at any moment you can answer our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. My little thought would be, um, I, I believe that unanswered prayer will be answered, some of it today. That's a bit long, but you know what I mean. Like This unanswered prayer stuff in my life could happen today. I believe it. I'm praying the same for you. God bless you. See you tomorrow.